we need all of you on the ground helping us make sure Hillary Clinton has to make it. The Clinton campaign on the march, big time across the Keystone State, this week targeting female voters. I'm working as much as I can, phone banking, going door to door. Clinton, coming off a huge convention bounce, already has 300 staffers here, three dozen offices open, another dozen on the way. I love Hillary. I think she's an incredible candidate. She's more than qualified. And also, it's we cannot have Donald Trump as the president. All right, well, let's get him. <laughs> Trump's ground game just getting off the ground, opening his first three offices in the state this week. Only about a dozen staffers, many still to be hired. The campaign relying on the RNC and its 80 staff members and more than 400 volunteers. If Trump can just stay on message and be disciplined, which I believe he can be, I think he can get yield some votes out of here. And he doesn't need to win this county. He just needs to stay competitive here. Competitive in those vote-rich Philly suburbs in particular. Can Donald Trump really be competitive across all Pennsylvania? Perhaps a telling sign, since early June, the Clinton camp has spent over $4 million in TV advertising. The Trump campaign, zero. The last time a Republican presidential contender won the state, 1988. Today, Democrats have nearly a million more votes here than Republicans, but conservatives are hopeful. Despite the Democratic advantage, 13 of 18 House members are Republican, and both houses of its state legislature are controlled by the GOP. This year, almost anything can happen. Pollster Terry Madonna says Trump may be down for now, but this election? Too unpredictable to be sure of anything. We're part of this so-called Rust Belt theory. When the white blue collar workers in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan and Wisconsin and you got an electoral college mix that could get Donald Trump to 270. Cheesesteak in Philly attracts voters of every strike. How important is it to vote this year in Pennsylvania? Very important, but just make sure you don't vote for Trump. Bill Carapucci was a Democrat until last March. The retired teacher, now all in for Trump. And I know this for a fact. There's a lot of people that will not say they're voting for Trump because he's been so demagogued by a lot of the media. No offense taken. And by Hillary the last few months that you're now considered not that intelligent if you're going to vote for Trump. So there's a hidden Trump vote. But the Clinton campaign is targeting conservative voters, opening offices in 12 counties won by Mitt Romney in 2012. Why? College-educated white voters in Pennsylvania prefer Clinton by a whopping 30 percent. Republicans counter. They just have to find those conservatives who sat on their hands in 2012. Keep in mind, the last time that Mitt Romney lost the state by five points, there were 800,000 Republicans who didn't vote. With less than three months until Election Day, an enormous effort underway by both sides to find voters and get them to the ballot box in November. Miguel Marquez, CNN, Philadelphia.